Jesus is a big deal. Jesus of Nazareth is a big deal. It's pretty easy to hate church and get prejudiced. It's harder to get affectionate towards the church mess in America. It's easy to hate church and Christians. And it's not easy to be affectionate towards those who have messed you up. Oh, actually, but then the problem is the Jesus character <laughs> the Jesus character said change your affections change your affect towards the ones that bother you so if you can actually begin to get affectionate toward the people in Christianity, maybe you're not so disgusted. Jesus is a big deal. Here's the problem. But if you can take an affectionate tour, you know, it's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. Okay, now this is for those of you who are not disgusted with the church mess in America who'd like to hang out with someone who has taken a long tour of the church mess in America. That's the person on the screen there. Okay, here's the problem. The proofs are rumors of Jesus' supernaturalness. Okay? You might have seen... You might have seen... Zeitgeist. But guess what? The predictions in the unchanged book, the Hebrew book, weird predictions birthplace, birth time type of teaching, disappearance, reappearance, supernatural powers, tons and tons of individual, hundreds of individual predictive points. Not about a mythical character, but about one person. Well, how do you know if the writings of the New Testament aren't falsified? Oh my gosh! They got busted out. The New Testament got reproduced and busted out around the world in such a brief period of time. Across a truly brief period of time, Jesus of Nazareth 
teachings <laughs> and the writings of the first peoples to receive his supernatural powers, they put this book together of all these little letters and notes and they, it got duplicated and spread all over the place. And the accounts follow the predictions. Hundreds of predictions, hundreds of people saw him alive, resurrected after a gory public execution. Hundreds of eyewitnesses saw him. That's a big problem. And thousands, hundreds of thousands of displays of supernatural power were displayed by him. But the most important thing, he showed an ability to transfer supernatural powers. An ability to transfer supernatural powers into ordinary people. He sent out the twelve and gave them supernatural powers. This is for you people who are not disgusted and who are curious about the church mess in America, which has many facets. Jesus transferred his supernatural powers to the twelve and then to the seventy and then after he resurrected from the dead and went back into the spirit realm, he said, it's better that I go away because then I can transfer supernatural powers to ordinary people. Whoa! And that's been going on for so many years. Whoa! Check out the Finger of God video. Whoa! And then you've got all these different types. Hey, guess what? Jesus was truly Jewish. And Jesus started the apostolic lineage and the ancient Orthodox lineage of the church. And guess what? He cared more about the humans than the highfalutin religious ones. And he went to the lepers and the poorest of the poor and the hookers and all peoples, even the intellectuals. And he was really separate. His ways are not like our ways. He shared a purse with 12 guys for three years. He operated on a communal purse for 12 years, living plain and seeing that people were baptized as they proclaimed repentance. And their kids got baptized with them because they have responsibilities in that. And he, he said, okay, let's go over into the next town and bring the good news. Once hot stuff was happening and healings were going on, he's like, hey, let's move on. And he had the charis. Charis means anointed or empowered. Messiah means the supernatural visitor of highest order to visit the human race. But the descriptive term, term means charis. In Greek, this is Mashiach in Hebrew, this is Charis in Greek, same word which means empowered or poured on. So the people that gather together with the powers, which are the Pentecostal transfer of supernatural powers that was poured out on the day of Shavuot or Pentecost, and all of these, he was all of that stuff. So hey... If you're curious about a person's discoveries in an affectionate tour of the church mess in America, stay tuned to part two because we'll talk about something that benefits you.